Hey, what's going on guys? It's Arctic. We finally have glyphs added to the game. Now there was a journey ahead um, article that was posted, but it was kind of just a summary of kind of everything that we already know is going on. It was just kind of a reference to Thorin, a reference to glyphs, and kind of just along those lines. There wasn't anything new. They were just kind of saying, hey, we're winding down for the holidays. And pretty much what I expect from that is once January comes along, once that new year starts, they're going to be hitting the ground running and we'll start to get a lot more content and kind of updates of what's to come at that point. But for the rest of the month of December, I think things are going to be winding down and it will be pretty quiet for new content coming to the game in that regard. You know, maybe we'll see some stuff for um, Bomber and Bil Bilbo, but for the rest of the month, don't expect anything, you know, probably regarding like guild versus guild or like player versus player game modes anything of the sorts or like a pve um type of game mode with with your guild as well probably won't see anything or hear anything of that for the rest of the year i, I wouldn't really worry about it that much guys come on like be honest it's christmas you know coming up you know it's 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 expected you know we can't we can't have cg slave away for us all 12 months of the year we got to give them one month you know off they got the content already planned coming for us we got glyphs we got glyphs man glyphs are going to take a while for us to crack so let's just focus on that right now don't worry too much about the journey ahead it's completely fine i saw some people are upset about it but i think it's totally understandable but glyphs have been added to the game and hopefully i'm really we have quests. We have new quests i have been so disappointed that like if you go play star wars galaxy of heroes there's so many quests in that game that you'll just never complete you know and i've been done with the quest for a few months now like two months maybe i don't know something like that and they finally added quests pertaining to glyphs i hope there's this is a decent quest chain and it's not just going to be the end after this um i really hope that they continue with this sort of thing because um i think it does add a sense of you know kind of a pathing, you know, something you can like progress along rather than just tr trying to do your own thing. They can give you something to work towards with these quests. Um, so the, for, the new quest we got reached level 25 with Strider. So this is just, you know, your basic new player coming to the game quest, you know, introducing glyphs, get your Strider to 25, start working on glyphs. So we'll go ahead and Claim that there. So we have to reach level five with armor piercer one times and acquire six glyphs. Now there is an offer in the store, and there ooh, there's a chest as well. Mystery, mystery glyphs. I don't know how I feel about that. You know the thing about this is, I'm sure people you know are going to be purchasing stuff like this, but my 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 fear is my what what I know, what I know to be true about this is these are going to like devaluate for what they're selling at by like where they're not even worth anything. Like, they don't even, like, sell glyphs. You know, these are just base glyphs in uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Like, no one would spend, you know, $5 for that. But since they're new, since they're new and people need to build them up on their rosters, they're going to have an increased value at the start. And it doesn't look like there's really... Yeah, there's nothing really else new except for this offer right here. This was the offer I was more so interested in. I guess you get 100 enchantments and you get 10 of each type. So what is that? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90? Yeah, 90. 90 there for 20. And then this, where, where was the chest at? The chest was here. So that was 90 for 20. And then here you get 5, 20, and 35. 35 for 6, 6, 12, 18. So you get more you get more glyphs from this actually but you don't get you don't get those um what are they called I'll, i have to look um you don't get any of these enchantments hmm i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna do one of these so i'm gonna go ahead and purchase this real quick and then we'll probably do one of those chests as well at least i do have a lot of gems that i i did pick up um off the web store for ooters coming up Wanted to make sure I have that and enough gems. That way I can finish my goblins. But I'm going to go ahead and purchase this. Let's see what we get. All right. So we got our glyphs. Load of glyphs here. Um, gee, I don't even I don't even really recognize these yet. I still need to um, 
kind of pay attention. This is like Vitality. These are like Lemboss, the the Wise, I believe. So what do we what do we have for like? Can I look at these Lemboss? 592 HP, damage, resistance, HP, more HP, armor, damage. Okay, so all like damage and armor, Lemboss. Okay, cool. We're not gonna look at them all though. Um, and then let's just for the curiosity sake, let's go ahead and grab one of these 600 chests and just see what we can get out of it. It looks to be, I'm pretty sure it was all like a stable income of how many you get. It was just what type or not. No, it's a, it's a, it's a mix. What did, what did we get? Oh wait, next. Oh, so we got, we got 10, we got 10 of these raiders okay and then is this raider again yeah it's raider again 10 more raider more raider look at okay loads of raider okay what is this one bloodlust okay so that's that life steal so it looks like we got two raider drops and then a bloodlust drop okay all right so I kind of, I just briefly looked at kind of what SGZ was thinking for glyphs for Elra here. And it's a full set of armor piercer is what kind of the uh, consensus is for someone like Elra here. This is kind of just our info. So if you haven't played Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, this will look a little bit foreign to you. Um, so it says every character's relic has six glyph slots of different shapes. A glyph must be placed in a slot that matches its shape. Okay, so... Let's take a closer look. Okay, I'm just gonna skip past. Okay, we're gonna have to do this tutorial here. So yeah, it recommends armor piercer here. What is this? That's HP. Okay, can we can we skip the tutorial, please? Continue. I, I'd like to do it myself, please. Let's continue with these quests. We can claim that quest. We can claim that quest as well. Then we can claim that. Okay, and then we can do that. And then what is this? Reach level six with armor piercer two times. Okay. Okay, that's all the same. I think we only got Lemboss from those rewards. It doesn't look like those are that. Okay, acquire one enchantment. Okay, claim that. Dawn, that's all the quests? Are you serious? I was so excited. I was so excited. Quests are done. Come on, we need more quests. Give us something, you know, to work towards or something. Come on. Oh, wow. Look at the damage jump. So speed's only going up by 3.26. So I think speed, I don't know. I think it is like they intended where it just, you change turn order with speed. So we got crit chance, crit damage. So plus 7.9 on top of, is it, is this base? And then is that increased? Let's see. Looking at our stats. So it is, is it, it's on top. Okay. So our, yeah, our speed only goes up from 175 to like 178. The speed in like Swago was like four or five per, per mod. You could have like a speed primary of like 30. So it's, it's not as good in that regard. But this damage increase, that's crazy. That's like, what? what is that, like 25% extra damage? And then our crit, our crit chance is 17%. Our crit damage only plus 4.6. Not bad. All right. 15,507 Elver here. That is pretty crazy. Arena, have I been shot down to silver? No, I have not. We're still in gold one. Looks like people haven't done too many modding. Ooh, low Legolas. I like the Legolas teams. It is 61K. We're at 64,000. We went up like 10K or maybe like 8K. All right, let's run it. Let's run it. How good is a level six cliff set? Mind you, it's not higher than level six. Full glyph sets, kind of mostly ideal stats on the glyphs, gonna do up against a most likely non-glyph team. 
They might have some glyphs on it. Not positive. It doesn't look like it. All right. Expose. He re what? You were what? Maybe he does have. He no, but it's a G10. I don't think he has glyphs yet. He just resists the expose. He didn't. No way does he have resist yet. Okay. Got the wave up. Wait, wait we got the. Bloodlust, when this character frees him and gain 30% turn meter, gain one stamina on wave start. And after the first time this character uses an ability in a wave. That's crazy. We gotta we gotta launch the wave at the start of the battle. We already get slows out there with that extra focus. Our one's gonna clear it though, but 5,000 retaliate. Of course he's got nimble. Arwen, okay, so we're not going to be able to tag team. Nice retaliates. We're not going to be able to tag, and he doesn't have might. Might got cleared. Okay, that'll clear the nimble. Look at those hits. That did some decent damage. We don't need to clear anything yet. The tag team, Elrond's open, below half health, three unbreakables. Ah, oh, we didn't clear any unbreakables, but we got them down. There goes one. 7k crit there on Elrond here with that. Let's throw that expose out. He resists the expose. He's got the deadly upgraded on Eladin. Actually, no. It's Is it Legolas that's giving the advantage? Let's see this heal. How much is the health? 7,000 it's putting out? Not bad. Unbreakables are gone on the opponent's Elrond. Oh! Did you see that? That was a 20k crit. We just crit the Legolas for 20k on that Retaliate. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. 15, 15k on the Eladin. Oh my god. That is brutal. And you should be able to get him, right? Only 4k? Come on, Gas. You know, maybe Gas, Gas might do better... Gas might do better with an armor piercer set, honestly. I have to see. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Gas might be. Or is Gas? Is Gas already a full? Get the wave again already. Ten K. That was so easy. That was so easy. I better I better climb now. If you are if you have an arena defense with Legolas, what are you doing? Like Le Legolas does nothing on your arena defense. It's literally he's useless. It's basically like you're putting up a four man team defense. When you put Legolas on defense, you're you're doing nothing for your team but causing your defeat. Like, you see how easy this is? It's only, like, 3.30, and we've already won. Let's take Legolas off defense. Unless you don't have, like, Lord Elrond, you can use your Legolas as your leader for elves, if that's what you want to do, if you're in that situation. But And you're probably not going to be up this high. You'll probably, honestly, be better using Rohan 3 if you don't have Elrond yet. But if you're using Lord Elrond... And you have Legolas with him. I am coming for you because we just won at three minutes and two seconds left. There was no chance I was going to lose that. Yes, I do have glyphs on these characters. But again, it's a free win when there's a Legolas. The biggest thing you want to avoid is never come down to an Eladin 1v1. It's it's an endless battle. I have a, sh a YouTube shorts of it, actually. 
amongst like my my valorant shorts i do sometimes occasionally i do like a valorant short or whatever i had so many um like short clips of uh some valorant like gameplay like anytime i had like a cool play or whatever i would like i would like clip it in valorant and i like i was like why do i have no storage in my computer i went to my valorant clips folder and it was 80 gigabytes of of clips and i was just like i just i, I deleted the whole folder because I was like, ah, whatever, I'm, not, I'm never going to do anything with these. I used to kind of, like, add them in, like, little mosh bits, little clip montages, but they don't really do anything. Have I been taking out STZ people? I hope I haven't. I think this is the first STZ I see. Oh, and I could so easily beat you, too. Oh, <laughs> Durocell. Durocell, why do you have to be the easiest target above me? Or actually, no. I can go, I can go MacMuck. I can go MacMuck. MacMuck, I'm sorry. We're climbing over you. My goal is, let's just get back up to in, into Mithril. You know, we'll probably get knocked out. Just because I do play a little bit of Swigo. I'm definitely not well-versed in Swigo strategy and team counters and all that. I'm more so just like the aspect of having the teams and collecting the teams rather than playing it. Doing this by um, muscle memory... Like, I wasn't even paying attention to anything that was really going on that match. And we managed to beat it fairly easily. And we're back into Mithril. Mithril rank 43. We can still climb. That, it might be too... Oh, that makes it... That, are, that basic on Arwen hit for 23k. Elra here, the new coming in. Absolutely disgusting. See, this is why I G10 my Elra here. That is just so satisfying. Because, like, gas basic right there. 4k, 2500 there. And a 9k on a special 2 onto a gas. Like, we're, we're ranked 28 Mithril right now. There's an Aelthane. There's another gas. 65k. We go the gas again. We're shredding through gems right now. Luckily, I bought the 150 pack for the... So I can finish Great Goblin to 5, and we can get Uders to 5. Have a little bit of impact in Chapter 3. But people don't have the resources to build sets for each chapter. So that's... Legolas equals free win. 70k. Okay. Oh, yeah. 16... 16 5, Lord Elrond. Oh, it's Torb! <laughs> um, uh... Sh do, do, I, do I go for Torm? Just because it is Torm? Do, do I go for... Do I just go for Torm right now? Torm, I'm coming for you, bro. Torm, I, <laughs> I... I gotta I gotta go for Torm. It's Torm, man. Torm, I am sorry. Maybe I won't be. Maybe you will beat me. You you clearly have glyphs on your Lord Elrond. 16,500 power. I'm sorry, bro. I don't know what to tell you, Torm, but... Uh, psh, Big L? <laughs> no, no, he, I'm sure I'm sure he'll come after me. Now he'll see me and he'll above him and he'll get me. For for what is it? K's? K's I'm coming for you. 55k, what are you doing up here with only that amount of power? Things are changing in arena. As we speak. People are climbing. People are falling. People should have taken off work to get glyphs on their arena team. <laughs> Boss, I need a break. I have to go put glyphs on my mobile game. I wonder how that would go over. And a basic to finish it. League promotion. We are back into Mithril 1. There's a... 53k Aothe. Are we going back to champions right now? I'm spending a lot of gems, but we might be going to champions here, guys. We might be going to champions. I don't know. It has been months since I've been up into champions. We're gonna... We're gonna try the 71k. I don't know how I feel about it, though. It's an Aothing Ruhar. One more. There we have it. There we have it. Rank 5, Mithril 1. It's got to be the Aothane. 
Gandalf gone wild? <laughs> you, I'm sorry, bud, but uh, you gotta go back to Mithril 1. Because I'm about to be a champion again. I am about to be a champion again. Run a team. Go back. Run an arena. Go run a team. Come back. Run an arena. If you really want to. I know people don't always like to do that. But hey. We've gone from gold one into champion six. Once again, we are back in champions. Let's try STZ Thomas. I don't know if we'll be able to beat this. I think we may encounter our... Second defeat here. We did lose to the Rumul Gimli earlier. Let's see how we do. Go ahead and provoke. Throw out the regen. All right. Okay. Heal up. Clear that provoke. Here we go. Gaz AoE. Should put Lord Elrond in the yellow. Ooh, barely does not. But she can. And we have Might plus the special two. Come on. Two stacks. All right, we got him down to two stacks of Unbreakable. He did heal up a fair bit there. That's okay. Gonna clear that. Ooh, a poison. When did we get that? Gruhar put that out on us. Clear the Unbreakable. Oh, there we go. We got one. I think that was just from straight damage. I don't think that was a full clear. Do we get a Retaliate on him? No. Ooh, dude, the amount of debuffs. That our team has right now is frightening. We're stuck on provokes. Of course we are. Heal up. We need the heal. Through the provoke. And he heals. Of course he does. You're so close. He is so close. Oh, we didn't clear a provoke there. Are you serious? Please tell me it would have been Elrond wave. Oh, next turn. Next turn. Next turn is Elrond wave. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Come on, clear the provokes. Ah, come on, Arwen. I need you. Ooh. Oof. I do not like. Ooh, there goes him. Uh we gotta we gotta we gotta do the heal. I wanted to do the wave, but we can't there's no way we can do the wave. Throw out the regen. We need that extra healing right now. Our gas is about to go down. I don't... There goes gas. Hit him with the wave, I guess. I think... I think we have... Found a roadblock. I think we can beat this team. I don't think we're going to beat it at this attack, though. I think... Huh? Well, actually... Actually... Hold on. Ah, oh, We got rid of the unbreakable, though. Stuck on the Provoke still. No! Oh! Yes. Yes! Gandalf gone wild? I think you're done, bro. I think- I think you might be done. I think- I think... We... We should have used a basic there. We had like four buffs, five buffs. I think we got it. Heal up. We need this heal. Get rid of over here. What, exposed or the Gruhar? We go for the Gruhar. Go for the Gruhar. So close. We're stuck on that. Okay, he just did that. He did not do an attack. Okay. Okay. Okay, Gandalf going wild. You're down, son. I didn't think we were gonna get that. Champion six, rank one. Is that a new? Is that a new PB? 
Rumble Gimli, Rumble Gimli, Rumble Gimli. Why are there all these Rumble Gimlis? Uh, they're like, look at that. It's like 12k too. What am I supposed to do against that? What am I supposed... This is, this is time out hell now. This is all time out hell. Maybe... There's hi look, there's there's hyena. Do you know do you know who that is? Do you guys know who hyena is? LOTR.gg players hyena total power 659,000. This is the the person this is the the person with the highest collection power in the game right here. There's no, there's no way I beat a room. This is all timeout. This is like all timeout. Like there's one team I might be able to beat here, which it's 75k and it's a Gruhar. It's an, it's a similar comp. It's a little bit stronger than Gandalf's. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. I think we try the 63k, but I think this is not going to happen. Okay, Rumble on defense. So yeah, this is the highest I've ever I ever gotten way back. And again, we're stuck here at champion six one. This is this is the highest I've ever gotten in the past. And again, it, it's where I'm stuck now. Mm, One eighty six. Oh, we got a payout for Mithril two. So we didn't we we didn't get a Mithril one payout. And we'll probably get knocked out of out of champion six. So we probably won't even. Where's ZJ? Oh, ZJ's right here. Oh, I'm above ZJ right now? Did I climb over ZJ and not even see him? Well, we're up here. That's crazy right now. Wait, did Hyeno go up? Oh, Hyeno already went up. Isn't that crazy? Dude, I wish. I wish we could get those get those 620s. That's that's crazy. Alrighty. That is going to wrap it up for the Glyph Arena Climb. Again, we'll take a quick look at what Glyphs we had going on for the climb, which got us from Gold 1 up into Champion 6. So we were going for the Lemboss Bloodlust set on uh, Lord Elrond with, you know, you have uh, HP... As the secondaries only level six, we're, we were looking for HP secondaries. We got them mostly. You can see some of the other stuff we had there. Down here, we had some bloodlust, so we were looking for HP for um, the primary on four, five, and six with HP secondaries. Extra 8k health. You can see all that there. Here is the Elder Here's Glyph set. We have full armor piercing. Um, for him, he's got an extra 2k health, 799 damage, armor, focus, resist, all that there. Um, basically, primarily crit damage, damage, crit chance is what you want. So we're looking for that across these for the ones we did find. Speed damage, all damage primaries on 4, 5, and 6. Arwen's Glyph set. Oh, we had a 5 on her? We had a 5 on the Bloodlust. I think it was because I didn't like that one or something. Um, she's got, uh, what are these called again? Last Stand. She got Last Stand and Bloodlust. Um, we were looking for, like, various things. HP and Resist, uh, for the secondaries that she had. Alright, for Arwen's stats, 
5,900 extra health, 340 extra damage, armor there, focus, resistance, 57 each. Speed, a little bit of an increase there. Or Gaz, we'll take a look at Gaz first since he's showing up first. On Gaz, we have the Armor Piercing Bloodlust set with extra 2400 health. Not too much. You don't really have to worry about his health, in my opinion, since he is kind of like the... He already is kind of always the last to die, so I'm not really too worried about that. Unless, for instance, you might be using a Nuraz, who might put a Provoke on your Gaz. Then in that situation, maybe you do want some more health. Uh, but for our Gaz, we have an extra 800 damage, which brings him up into that 4k damage threshold. He's got a little bit of extra armor, stuff going on there. All that. Finally, we have Eladin. He's got the full armor uh, set bonus. Um, he's got an extra 6,000 health here. Only 200 extra damage. We have an extra 62 resist, which isn't that much, to be honest, compared to the whole lot. An extra 469 armor. That does help. Block chance. We got it up to a 4% block chance from a zero, which is good, I guess, right? <laughs> Uh, looking at his stats, we were looking for like HP for secondaries, HP resist, HP resist there. We didn't have HP, we didn't find HP on this one, but we did get armor, we did get resist there, a little bit of block mitigation. Here, more armor, more block chance, a little bit of damage, health as the primary on 4 or 5. We, didn't have, we couldn't find a health primary for 6, so we went with armor there. Um, and we only really had block mitigation speed damage coming from that one for this one We had health and focus, but those are my glyphs. They're only level six. We could go higher on them I think uh, Elver here might be the first to get some upgrades higher. I still have to mod my other teams But that was my Rivendell kind of my arena team using Gaz in there So that was my Rivendell 4 with Gaz. Um, we didn't put any glyphs onto Lomian, but that's what I was rocking Which allowed me to climb back up to champion six rank one. Are we still there? Nope, we've already we've already been knocked. We've only been talking about this for like two minutes. And we're already champion six rank nine. It is what it is. <laughs> well, I'm sh I'm sure in an hour I'll be low mithril one, if not mithril two. Um, but that is gonna wrap it up. I hope you all did enjoy this video. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about the glyphs. Um, I think it's amazing so far. I think it's gonna take a, t uh, a little bit of time personally to work up your teams. Um, it does suck that it does share campaign nodes. Um, so with character shard farming, it is a little bit more difficult having to decide, do I want glyphs or do I want um, character shards? You know, I don't know why they decided to do it that way. Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, Marvel Strike Force, they've had their dedicated campaigns for their glyphs, mods, however you want to call it, your ISOs in MSF. So it is how it is. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.